I got some things that you gonna wanna see. Hey friends, it's Shayna Berkeley, your neighborhood stylist, your stylist next door, here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world. And listen, it's getting overwhelming in my house with all the hauls I have to show you. So I decided I'm just gonna do a two part like video series, I guess. You're gonna have to see the same outfit, so get into it, honey, get into it, because it's just too much. I gotta show it all to you, or you will never see it. <laughs> um, if you don't already, follow me over on Instagram, at The Fashion Chase, because I am doing two things on my Instagram. The first is I'm doing a lot of shot with me's and my stories. Again, it's a lot to make a YouTube video. It ain't nothing to just do it in my stories and y'all see the stuff and people be like, oh, this is cute, it's not cute, they vote. It's a whole situation ship over there <laughs> on my Instagram. So follow me at The Fashion Chase. And then secondly, I'm actually doing some mini hauls there. So if I do a shot with me, I try to do the haul about what I got in the stories, you know, consistency and all those things. My Instagram is popping, go visit me there and follow me. But today, I am showing you the haul of what I got from my Goodwill trip. Um, it was a fun Goodwill trip. I didn't get a whole lot. I'm trying not to get a whole lot in my head. I'm trying not to get a whole lot. In actuality, I do feel like I'm always getting something. So it's like, girl, slow down. You have nowhere to go. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. So let's just go ahead. Before I get into these things, um, make sure you're subscribed. So honey, click to join the click and subscribe to join the tribe. I do a video every Monday and Friday because I want you to love your Mondays as much as your Fridays. And I love to show you guys new and fun, exciting clothing. Before I get into the stuff I actually bought, I wanna show you this really quickly. This jacket actually came from a thrift store, but not the Goodwill when I did this trip, but you hadn't seen it. And I actually wore it and posted a picture of it on my Instagram. And so I figured I would talk to you about it a little bit. It is um, Jennifer Lopez had a line, I wanna say with Kohl's or something like that. It's a snakeskin blazer. It feels silky, although it's not silk. And it's really cute. It is a size large and it's great. And I thrifted it. So I thought it was worth noting that, you know, I'm crazy about snakeskin and it's everywhere for $50, $60, $70. But you can thrift it if you keep looking. So that is something I got on a different thrift trip that, again, you didn't see because it's too much. <laughs> But what I did get on this thrift trip, you may have seen some of them and you may not have seen some. Because I don't like to show you guys everything I get. I like you guys to have some surprises. The first thing is going to be this burnt orange dress. It has the buttons down the side and on, on the sleeves. Um, it's actually Say Wet brand, which you see this a lot at Ross. I don't know if it's a Ross exclusive brand, but I know that you can get it from Ross. I actually went to Ross when I had this dress on and saw other Say Wet items. This dress is an extra large and it's not a midi. It comes below my knees, but it doesn't come super long, quarter limb sleeve, and it's just really cute. I wore it, I'll put up a picture if I can find it with some rose gold booties and a fur jacket that you would have seen in my Insta stories, but I'll also show you in the part two of this haul. Uh, yeah, so it's a ribbed dress. It was $6 and a great buy. Next, okay, listen, I'm thirsty for the shackets. I'm not gonna front. I didn't get the H&M one. I think my store here has it in, in person. I'm gonna go try it on, but I'm just like 60 to 120 dollars for a jacket that I will not wear every day. <sighs> Baby step the kid. So I may break down and get it or <laughs> ask my mom to give me the money so I can say, girl, it's my Christmas gift. I haven't decided yet, but because I didn't get that one, I'm thirsty for the shackets. And I follow the DIY designer early um early Shani. I want to say it's pronounced it. She did a really cute really cute DIY with a jacket similar to this but hers is like a cuter like brighter color um I think she may have gotten hers from Walmart or something like that in the men's department don't give me the line child but I thought oh my god that was so cute now I don't know if I have the patience that she has I almost want to be like hey how much you'll charge to me to just let you do it because I ain't got the patience but I may have some downtime I don't know we'll see this would be a great jacket to do that on, though. It looked really similar to hers, and she was inspired by the Mew Mew jacket. This jacket was $5, extra large in the men's department, and it is really warm, actually. So I got it, and we'll see, child. We'll see. I ain't making no promises, but we'll see. The next thing I got is this red, like, animal print leopard jacket with these really cute toggle buttons um yeah 
I was trying to see if it had a zipper. It also has a little quilted vibe to it. It's really thin. It doesn't have any like backing probably, but it has that stitching that makes it look quilted. And it's great. It hits um, right in my waistband. And I just am so thirsty for animal print that I usually buy it <laughs> and try to style it up. This would be a fun piece to style up. If you haven't watched my video, my styling on the fly inspired by B. Jones style, this feels like something that she would wear. And so maybe if I do that video again, if you like it, comment below. I'll do something like that again. Then uh, I'll try to style it up for her. So this is $6.00. Um, it may be inspired by B. Jones because I feel like she wears kind of wacky, fun, crazy, colorful things like this. And I just liked it. So I bought it. Last thing is like a, I just can leave it. Y'all ever have, like, come, come on. If you're a real fashion, if you're a real thrifter, if you're somebody like me that's like, oh, see, like just, just thirsty for the hunt and not necessarily think the items all the way through. You know, I'm not one of those people who like, I think if I can wear this three to five different ways, like I think that's a valuable trait. It's just not me, okay? So if you're one of those people, I, I honor that. It's just not me. But this right here, like this is the bag. It was just too good. It was just too good to just leave there. Destitute, all alone at the thrift store, child. So um, it has some holes in it. I haven't decided. I think there may be one over there too. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. If I'm going to take these applicates out, I may take it to um, a lady who sews here that has done some alterations and just ask her like, hey, can you close up these holes? Or is there something we can do just to bring her back to life? She needs life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So, I don't know. Maybe she just goes on my mannequin and it's just a keepsake or something. But I just felt connected to her. I feel like this is me in a dress, honey. The Shayna dress. So, I got her. I don't know. She was also $5, I think. I might have taken her tag off. Uh, but she was also like 5 to $8, somewhere there. So, I got her. So, this is my... Really small but mighty haul um, from the Goodwill. The part two of this video will be not Goodwill, be like Burlington, Buffalo Exchange, uh, Poshmark. I'm looking up here to see um, where else did I go? I don't know, child. I took Gabe's and one other place. I'll tell you where I went when I show you the clothes. Again, I have some hauls on my Instagram because I also have other places that I've gone. She's doing the most, honey, Walmart, Southern Thrift, the most. Follow me everywhere so you can see all the things. I'm Shayna Berkeley, your neighborhood stylist, your stylist next door. Here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.